Dan Perkins, cover crop guy, Jasper County Soil and Water Office. We are in northern Jasper County in a field that's first time no-till, first time cover crop. We've been revisiting this field. Um, it was uh, being uh, worked over this last fall because they were changing the rows and leveling it, prepping it for no-till. And then this was supposed to be soybeans like this field over here that we were just in, but um, with seed corn prices, uh, the way it worked out, we actually went first year no-till, first year cover crop with seed corn. So pretty um, um, scary proposition given how seed corn is finicky and a little more or less aggressive in terms of popping out of the ground. But with the aerial, with the drilling of the annual ryegrass that was done um, in early October, we had a great stand. We got it killed um, just in time to plant the seed corn. And as you can see, there's very... That annual ryegrass is melted down like butter. We have some crabgrass um, coming in a little bit. But besides that, a nice, good stand of seed corn. And we had annual ryegrass that was about eight, nine inches tall. And we did a soil pit out here. And the roots were going down 36 plus inches. And so the question is, what is that cover crop doing for us now? It's July 12th. We've had a cold, cool, long spring um, lots of moisture, so the corn roots have had not to go very deep to get the moisture they've needed. And so now the, the temperature dial's going up. It's been 90 degrees the last couple days. It's just going to get hotter. Uh, the rain is probably going to shut off. And so that's kind of a bad scenario in terms of crop root growth uh, to shut the water off so quick if that happens because then our corn roots aren't very deep. And in these black sands, you know, high water tables, if we can get them deep enough, uh, they can really get a lot of the moisture they need. Uh, this field has center pivot irrigation, so not as much of an issue. But what that cover crop root is doing, going 36 plus inches, is giving us a path of least resistance. And I've been in many a soil pit where you've seen corn roots following that cover crop root, which is a nutri nutrient-rich rhizospheric zone. Um, it's releasing nitrogen, it's releasing phosphorus, potassium, a lot of your micronutrients. Um, that soil biology that's been created in that root zone is continuing and we know that corn requires um, some of those mycorrhizae fungi relationships to really thrive um, and that cover crop, cover crop roots keeps that fungal species growing. Um, so that's really important uh, for for ultimately plant health and what we'll see in our yield monitor um, hopefully we'll see a bump from that because of that increased plant vigor plant health uh, disease resistance we all know that a healthier plant is less of a attractant to bugs and disease and so that's what our cover cr crop is doing for us now july 2013. in seed corn and then soybeans over in that field Dan Perkins, Jasper County, Cover Crop Gay.